वेलकम बैक टॉपिक इज लेफ्ट मोस्ट डेरिवेशन एंड राइट मोस्ट डेरिवेशन एज यू नो लास्ट क्लास वी कम्प्लीटेड लास्ट लेक्चर वी कम्प्लीटेड वट इज मेन बाई कॉन्टेक्स फ्री ग्रामर एंड इट्स डेफिनेशन एंड वट इज मेन बाई कॉन्टेक्स फ्री लैंग्वेज वट इज यूज वट इज द यूज ऑफ कॉन्टेक्स फ्री ग्रामर्स एंड वट इज द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द कॉन्टेक्स ग्रामर्स एट टू डेज क्लास लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट वट इज लेफ्ट मोस्ट डेरिवेशन एंड राइट मोस्ट डेरिवेशन ओके सी फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू टेक एनी कॉन्टेक्स फ्री ग्रामर लेट्स से आई एम राइटिंग वन कॉन्टेक्स फ्री ग्रामर एस टेंस टू ए एस स्लैश एप्सिलन एस टेंस टू ए एस स्लैश एप्सिलन ओके सो फ्रॉम द कॉन्टेक्स फ्री ग्रामर यू कैन जनरेट सम स्ट्रिंग्स लेट्स से फ्रॉम दिस कॉन्टेक्स फ्री ग्रामर द फर्स्ट पॉजिबल स्ट्रिंग इज द epsilon first possible string is the epsilon then i can generate a from this grammar like s tends to s tends to a s i am writing derivation process how you can derive the strings okay s tends to a s now s can be replaced with epsilon now a epsilon anything that is multiplied anything that is concatenated with the epsilon the string itself so now the derived string is a derived string is a now what is the string it is derived is a okay then you can derive double a also so how this derivation process is let's say for example i am writing s tends to a s then s can replace with again a s so a a s now s can replace with the epsilon now it is a a epsilon now the result string is double a result string is double a so now what is the other possible string it is derived is double a then if you if you repeat this process you can derive next string is triple a triple a and so on and so on this is derivation process see from any context free grammar we can generate some strings okay then collection of those strings is called as the context free language now my topic is how you can derive the string see derivation process is different if you have very time if you have very time let's say let's take one more example if i let's take one more example for example i have the grammar like s tends to a b s tends to a b where left hand side exactly contains single non terminal and right hand side have two non terminals now if i want to derive any string now i can i can replace the leftmost variable in the rhs what is leftmost variable a so every time i used to i used to replace leftmost variable by its body of the production okay that derivation process is called as the leftmost derivation so that derivation process is called as the leftmost derivation if every time i i replace rightmost variable rightmost variable let's say b and and, and every time at every step i am replacing rightmost variable in the rhs that derivation process is called as the rightmost derivation rightmost derivation okay so there are two derivations one is leftmost derivation or rightmost derivation okay we can discuss this topic we can discuss this topic i mean leftmost derivation and rightmost derivation by taking some example problem yeah let's consider this is the first problem the given grammar is i mean given context free grammar s tends to small a capital a b then a tends to b capital b small b b tends to capital a slash epsilon now, now you identify what are the terminals in the grammar is small a small b what are the non terminals in the grammar is s capital a capital b so other other name for non terminals is variables variables in the language variables in the grammar okay now my question is how you can derive a string a b b b b i mean a four b's either from the leftmost derivation and either from the uh, i mean rightmost derivation okay let's write for both derivation at a time okay see any string is derived from the starting uh, starting production what is starting production is s tends to s tends to small a capital a ca capital b okay so i want to derive so the the this string is called as the working string at last we should derive derived string that is equal to the working string okay so with this production with this derivation you know with this derivation a is derived okay so a is derived so meaning that so this is a is derived okay then next what i am expecting is b so we are writing the leftmost derivation so what are the leftmost variables in the given grammar is uh, grammar is a leftmost variable is a in the a, a you can replace okay so now a can replace with the 
its body of the production b capital b so now it is a b b b so the string is derived up to which part the string is derived is a b so a b is derived okay then only option only option is b only option is b which self itself is the leftmost variable itself is the rightmost variable so no option at all so you, you should consider this is the leftmost variable replaced by its body of the production replace its body of the production if i replace so options we have b can replace with a then b can replace with epsilon if you replace b can with epsilon now the string is derived is a b epsilon b a double b only but i am expecting a four b's okay so better replace with the b with a so now how we can write it is a b so b with a now it is a epsilon so not epsilon it is b okay now so now a can replace with the body of the production b b b so it is now the derivation process is a b so because it is the leftmost variable it is the rightmost variable no option we, we we should take it is only okay so then next b capital b small b then b okay now so the string is derived up to a b b a double b a double b then next b then at last b b is also derived okay so now b can replace with the epsilon so we can replace so a b b epsilon b b so finally that this is the derived string derived string this is the working string both are all equivalent so this derivation process is called leftmost derivation similarly try for rightmost derivation also take the starting production s tends to a capital a capital b so what is rightmost variable is b so now you can replace b with the either epsilon or capital a either with either with epsilon or capital a now if i replace with the a now the derivation process is a capital a capital a a capital a capital a okay then so there are two variables present capital a capital a we are writing rightmost derivation consider the rightmost variable what is rightmost variable is a so now a can replace with the small a capital a so this is we can replace small b capital b small b okay now so what what is the string is derived you you consider you, you compare with the derived string with the working string so b is derived so next what i am expecting is again b so now i can replace b with the epsilon so that is a capital a b epsilon b okay then next what is the next rightmost variable is rightmost variable is capital a only which is leftmost variable as well as the rightmost variable rightmost variable so now a can replace with again with b b b so write it so a b capital b b then b epsilon b b epsilon b right so we have only one non terminal at the derivation so capital b so you cross check with derived string with the working string so three b's are already derived three b's already derived so three b's already derived okay then fourth b is also derived a is also derived okay so better replace b with the epsilon now the derivation is a b epsilon b b epsilon b so the the derived string is a b b b b okay this is about the example let's consider one more example okay let's take one more example the given grammar is s tends to b a x a s slash a b then x tends to x a b slash double a identify what are the non terminals in the grammar is s and x what are the terminals in the grammar is small a small b now i want to derive this thing what is that string is b 4s b a b double a b by using leftmost derivation and rightmost derivation so first write about the leftmost derivation how we can write is s tends to b a x a s now identify what is the leftmost variable in the derivation process is leftmost variable in the derivation process is x okay now x can replace with x a b and double a but look at the 
expected string is b a now working string is derived up to b a part now x can replace with to x a b so that you can derive one more a again okay so now how we can write it write it is b a x a b x a b then a yes okay then so b a is derived then I, this is the leftmost variable again now you replace x with x a b again so that we can derive this thing so it is b a then x a b a b a yes now okay now what is the leftmost variable again is x so now you now you compare this derived string with the working string so b a is derived then in between a b a b is also derived so a b a b is also derived then next a is derived a is derived then so in between what is left double a only okay now you replace x with to double a if you replace x with x a b this thing is not derived x as expected so better derive so b a then it is double a then a b a b a yes so this complete part is derived complete part is derived okay then next what is i am expecting is a b only now you can replace s directly with a b so now the derivation is b a a a a b a b a now this is a b so this is the leftmost derivation now you compare this derived string with the working string exactly same it is then now write the rightmost derivation so the starting production is s tends to s tends to b a x a yes okay so if you compare compare this derived string with the working string at last we are expecting a b at last we are expecting a b so better replace s with to a b instead of b a x a s again so that we can derive this string exact okay so now b a x a then now a b now compare this one a is also derived so a a b okay then only one option is x it is the leftmost variable it is the rightmost variable okay we are expecting in between string is a b again so a b means now you can replace x with the x a b so that a b should derive so now write b a x a b a a b now compare this derived string with the working string a b is also derived okay so a b is derived a b is also derived then only one option we have x variable which is the leftmost which is the rightmost now you can replace x with the x a b or double a only if you replace double a double a so the string process is not matched b a double a a b a a b which is not equal as to this one okay so keeping in mind you have to think one step ahead while replacing any production with its body of the production so replace x with x a b once again so now it is b a x a b a b a a b now compare this one a b a b a a b so a b a b double a b okay then what we are expecting is immediately double a now you can replace x with double a instead of replacing x with x a b now this is replace b a double a a b a b a a p now compare this string derived string with this working string which is exactly same exactly same so this process is called as the rightmost derivative